Hey, 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 it's Deanne. How are you? I wanted to come on and say hello. I just did an interview with one of my friends and it went really well and I'll post that a little bit later today. But we happened to talk about something, happiness. And I always think this is an important thing to talk about with women. So I wanted to come on and share my story and hopefully it will help someone. So I know growing up, I didn't really think that much about happiness. When you're a kid, you're just happy all the time, so you don't think about it. But when I was thinking about my future, I thought that I would, you know, I would run into happiness. It would come to me. I would find my perfect job. I would find my perfect house, my perfect man, and live happily ever after. And, you know, it just usually doesn't happen that way. And maybe it happens some, for some people that way, but it didn't for me. So I remember graduating from college and you know moving to a different state and looking for jobs and just like not being able to find what I wanted and then moving to another state and going to a master's degree to see if that was going to make me happy then I ended up going to another state and doing yet another degree and just wondering like where where's my happiness I always thought the grass was greener somewhere else and it wasn't until 2000 and I moved out to California that it really started to sink in that I didn't even know what made me happy I was looking for something else to make me happy I was looking for a man to make me happy I was looking for a job to make me happy I was looking for the perfect home to make me happy and that's not where that's not how it works so I finally realized that I have to create my own happiness first I have to figure out what makes me happy I remember in PA school we were out at a bar and somebody asked me what where was I going to be in five years like what was I going to be doing and I was in I was in school so all I thought about was school and I was like I don't know I don't even know what I'm gonna work in I don't even know what my specialty is gonna be when I get out and then she said well what makes you happy and I think my jaw dropped down to the ground because I I couldn't I mean <laughs> I was I was like I like to travel and that was like all that came out of my mouth and that was kind of a horrible and it, it really bothered me the rest of the evening and for you know days and days that I really didn't know and I never really thought about it you know how you go through life and you like you use electricity every day but when you think about how it actually works you like I've never even thought about that so that's how it was and I was like I need to sit down and figure out what makes me happy the simple things you know there's always going to be things that cost money and I get that but I'm talking about the simple things so I finally did that and I finally realized that I just need to keep doing the things that make me happy and eventually I will be happy and that's ex actually exactly how it worked out I make sure and I still do this every day I still have to think about it I know what makes me happy and I make that a part of my day my week and then I, I get that dopamine and that serotonin rush and so I feel good and I can feel grateful for what I have I really think during this pandemic that's been a big problem for people because I think when we all get really busy in our lives the happiness we, we start to look for things like happiness through shopping or something like that and you know that's what was taken away from us during the pandemic you couldn't go shopping and so women were like oh you know what am I gonna do now and I think you know if, if you're falling into this category I would love for you to think about sitting down with a piece of paper and a pen and jotting down the things that make you happy the simple things and it's gonna be different for everyone um, you know uh, for me it's I have to be near water so I, I have to go out and I live near the ocean so I go out and I look at the ocean if I'm somewhere else it's a waterfall or a lake but I really love water it's just something that when I look at it I'm just grateful to be alive because it's just so beautiful sunsets are another thing but I also have a fascination with Siberian Huskies <laughs> I, w I was not even a I never even thought I was a dog person and I just love them and I'm not gonna get one now because I don't have a backyard but seeing them when I go on my walks and I see other huskies and I can go over and pet them and oh, it's just it's a it's an amazing feeling I think it's my spirit animal because I don't care what mood I'm in when I see a husky it's just changes my state completely 
And for other people, it might be, you know, being around their child, kissing their child, maybe even their husband. I mean, I love my husband. I'm not going to leave him out of there. But it's different for different people. So figure out what it is that makes you happy. I love to cook. So being in the kitchen, no matter what, cutting vegetables, some people think it's horrible. I think it's very calming. So I love to do that. So make make something in put something that you love to do in your daily schedule and it's really going to help you be more joyful and more positive and I think that's a really important thing it actually will take you out of the stress response whenever you do those things and you're releasing those hormones the serotonin and the dopamine it completely moves you away from the fight or flight system and into the rest and digest and that's where you want to be most of the time so think about that Try it out and I will see you later. Have a wonderful day.